Hi everybody, I'm Tiffany Craig and thanks for clicking on this video. This week's product is called the Ruggy. It is a rug with an alarm clock in it. And after you set the alarm, the only way to turn it off is to get your butt out of bed and stand on the rug for at least three seconds. This idea is hilarious. So of course, you know, we had to test it out. I ordered it in blue. It comes in a variety of different colors. I ordered it in blue and ta-da, look, it's right here. I'm gonna show you a couple of the components of this thing because from the back you can unzip it. And this is, this is the guts of it right here, okay? So this is where you set it and this is what all the alarms sound like. You ready? That's one. That wouldn't get me out of bed. That's annoying. That's also annoying. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Oh. That's the alarm that Catherine used. She helped us test this product because her 12 year old daughter Libby does not want to get up in the mornings. And, and you know, I get that. So check out this review and then we'll talk about this rug on the back end. The Ruggy, an alarm clock built into a rug. And Catherine Yakova Donato is all about trying it. Hopefully this will help my 12 year old get out of bed without hitting the snooze button 11 million times. You set the time, the alarm, and put it on the floor. The only way to turn it off is by standing on it for at least three seconds. Here we go, morning one. <laughs> Good morning. We know Libby hears it. It's set on the highest level, equivalent to the sound of a blender. Libby Lou, come on. A few seconds later, she rolls out. The Ruggie's the size of a bath mat with different alarms and volume levels. Yeah, we listened to all of them and I kind of chose the one that was the most annoying. By morning two, Libby hatches a plan involving her dog Chico. The twist on the old alarm clock isn't cheap. It's 75 bucks. Um, is it worth $75? Um, maybe it depends on how, how much you need it and how well it works for you. Had your mom not come in the room, could you have stayed in bed with that alarm going off? Probably not. I would probably have to shut it off. Libby Lou, come on. Ultimately, the hope is the Ruggie will get Libby off on the right foot. Well, both, actually. A couple of other things to point out. The Ruggie company says you really need to use this for about two weeks to change your habits and no longer press the snooze button, right? And that's when your body gets used to it. So we didn't test this out for two weeks with Libby, but we do know that if she was going to use it, it would need to be across the room so she could get up and walk over to it instead of just kind of jumping on it off the bed and then getting back in the bed. One of the other complaints they had, both Catherine and Libby, this thing isn't really very big. I mean, it's the size of a bath mat. It's memory foam and it, and it really does look like a bath mat, doesn't it, with a clock in it. They were hoping for something bigger, maybe something fluffy that they could really use as decoration in Libby's room as well, and that's not what they got. I think at the end of the day, they liked the concept, but $75 was a little steep for a bath mat with an alarm clock. We wanna know what you think now. So drop some comments down below and we can go back and forth and discuss. Also, while you're there, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring my bell so you know the next time we test out a product. Thanks everybody, see you next time.